My name is Nathaniel Brown and I am part of Downtown United's 2014 graduating class. And I started playing for Dusk at the age of 10. I've been in the club since U10, that's almost about, almost a decade, I could say. So, I can say that's half of my life. I see them more than I see my own brother and sister. So, it's, it's a serious thing for me, playing for Dusk. I've been playing soccer since I was four years old and soccer is my true passion and it's uh, it's what I love. Football para mi es, es todo. Como puede decir, corre por mis venas es, es lo que respiro cada día y cada momento que vivo. We are one of the most diverse teams that probably will ever exist in U.S. soccer history. My parents are from Honduras. I was born and raised in the Bronx. I'm originally, I was born in Argentina, Buenos Aires. Uh, I'm Mexican-American, my parents are Mexican, and I was born and raised in Queens, New York. My mom is Puerto Rican and my dad is American. Like the different cultures, the diversity, I've never played against or played on a team. So diverse is just a great experience. My first coach at us was Gustavo. He taught us everything about developing, uh, developing as, as a player and also as an individual on and off the field. Gustavo taught me how to analyze the game. He taught me how to be vocal, how to be a leader. The next coach that we had for a long period of time was Oscar Cantu. And unfortunately we didn't win anything, but uh, with Oscar we grew as a, he focused more on like growing as a team. He was not only our coach, but I, I felt like he was my older brother, so I was very comfortable with him. Three years ago, I had just finished coaching the UA teams that I had for five years. My team, my team was very talented. They moved the ball around nicely. But this little team, especially starting with the little Argentinian kid in the middle, Maxi, just put a smile on my face the way they played. They were such a joy to watch. Um, I knew Oscar had been their coach previously. Um, and I, I know he was a very good coach and he taught the game correctly and he, t he taught the game my, the way I like it. When Alex Kubo came, basically he took over what Oscar did. We were ranked number two in the nation that year and number one in the state. I didn't think soccer would do that much for me, as much as it did now. My favorite moment was finally winning State Cup with Cuba uh, in 2012. We went to our first, first ever State Cup Finals and we beat them and we advanced to regionals where we went to regional finals and played against Lehigh Valley where we lost. Boy, it was still an amazing experience I would never forget because not any, not any kid could have experience to play both State Cup and regionals in the same year. Because before that we always, we always, always lost in like the second round and we won thankfully we won it that year and I guess that would be a highlight of my Dust career. El próximo año llegamos hasta la final pero no se pudo ganar. For this year, our last year, we, we all decided that we wanted to like basically be remembered at Dust. Y les ganamos al equipo que con, contra el que perdimos el año pasado. Winning just felt good this year, especially the State Cup Finals. It's like the World Cup, basically. A 
Another prestigious aspect about playing for Downtown United is the fact that you get exposed. Well, right now I'm, I'm attending Manhattan College, and the process for that was tricky because I was I was like first generation college student. It was great having the because it taught me time management and that I needed in high school. They always told me that soccer is important for so academics is very important. So always chase uh, education because education will take you will take you places and it what is what counts in the long run. I will be attending Syracuse University. So once you come to practice every day and you put in your work, your hard work, trust and believe that you would probably get recruited for the school that you want to go to. And when it came down to it, I just made a simple decision, as in, accept. And the grace of Maryland, the Playing for Dust has opened so many doors for me. I've made friendships that I'm pretty sure are going to last an entire lifetime. On this club, I have. I think 20 good solid relationships with friends, uh, including coaches. I'm the oldest one in my family, so I have uh, basically everyone looks up to me. So it's nice having to look up to someone else. We all work hard in practice, but at the same time we're always smiling and cracking jokes. And, and that's one thing I'm never, never going to forget about downtown. For me, I felt like Dusk was like a family, like it wasn't like something I had to do, like I loved it. I like to pride myself on not only just teaching the game, but teaching them how to be young men. Okay. Uh, many of them, in fact almost all of them, are going off to play college next year. Um, some at very, very good, uh, very good colleges, okay, and that's probably what I'm most proud about. I think I've done my job with this group, okay, they, they each I've been raised with great family, have great heads on their shoulders, and uh, know the definition of hard work, determination, uh, commitment, and uh, that's all we can ask for these individuals. And they've given us uh, their time and effort over the past three years, and like I said earlier, I see nothing but blue skies for these guys. On the field, every single team I've faced with them, without a doubt, we are better talent-wise. Individually, we're better than other teams. And we win most of our games, but the ones that we do lose, maybe we lose our head from time to time. But then we always pick it up. We always get guided. We, we have each other's back. And we, we are not selfish about our achievements. We try to win everything together as a team. We do everything together. We have dinner together. We do everything together. Besides the traveling, besides playing soccer, I was able to meet new people, experience new things, and it was just a part of my life that I won't forget and I'll always hold on to. You are definitely the class of this tournament, okay? You play a style of soccer that is not taught everywhere else. Okay, and it, it is an honor and a privilege to see you guys play. It's no secret that that's, this is the team that's talked about around us for like multiple reasons, but you know they're good, and like you know you hear they're good, and then when you finally join them you understand why, it's because like everyone on this team works so hard and they all, they all get along so well, and they're so fashionable and like they look so good right now and all that stuff, they got great hair. It's, just, it's the key to victory right there, and now that I'm here, I know, I know why, and I'm glad to be a part of that. One, two, three,